I see millions of motivational speakers that speak to the rich, that speak to the successful. I said, who speaks to the broken? Who speaks to the individuals that's still in the process? Who speaks to the individuals that doesn't want to live anymore? Every motivational speech you ever heard, I was talking to myself and I was telling my story. I couldn't read till I was 16. I buried my mother to a heroin overdose. My father was a hitman. I used to sneak in crack houses to sleep next to my mom to make sure she was safe at night. But through all the chaos and all the pain, God built a warrior. So when y'all see King Hollis, and every time I drop a speech, I'm dropping it for you. That person that want to give up on his life, I'm, I'm dropping it for you. That person that don't know that they have greatness inside of them, I'm dropping this for you. See, the difference between a good player and a great player. See, that good player does just the minimum to get by. That great player pushes his body past the limit. He leaves every single drop of blood on the field. And whatever he does in life, he wants to be remembered as the greatest. He does that extra 10 when a coach only asks for 20. He runs that extra mile when a coach only asks for five. See, he knows he's going to have to dig deep inside his soul to bring out that king. To bring out that legend. To bring out that power that lays in every single one of us. But we won't go deep enough to get it. We're not going to be good. We're going to be great. Being broke is a mindset. That's something that you put inside your head. That's something that you tell yourself every single day. I literally started from the side of a Turkey Hill gas station. And all I did was ask someone, could you give me an opportunity to go into your studio? Could you give me an opportunity to walk into this place every single day and create my motivation? The time didn't take long. It was only two to three minutes and I'll finish a speech and I'll give it out because many of you guys don't know, I do not write speeches. Everything I do is from the heart. So what I did was I truly believed that I have something special to give this world. And I want you to know that you have something special to give this world. Don't, don't ever believe that the lack of funds is the reason why you're not being successful. This is not true. The lack of belief is why you're not successful. Every single human being on this earth is a walking million dollar check. And our belief in ourselves, our grind, our true grit to wake up every single day and tell ourselves and tell the world that I will be something special is what separates you from everyone else. I learned that when I stopped being envious of people and stopped 
judging people and stop being angry that I'm not on their level is when I truly started to elevate in my career. I said, I told myself, I will never take a dollar bill from another person. I will never sell my dream and my gift to anyone for any dollar amount. Don't you ever do that. And every morning you wake up and you look in the mirror, I want you to look in that mirror and I want you to tell yourself that I am special, I am great, and I am phenomenal. Nobody will stop me from reaching my goal. My goal, my individual goal, is to become one of the best speakers of all time. But I know I have so much work to do. While they sleep, I must work. While they party, I must grind. While they procrastinate, I must go after my future with a relentless effort. And I want you guys to grow to be successful with me. I don't want to just be successful by myself. I want my message to grow other people and make other people successful. That's what life is truly about. It's about picking great individuals and taking them with you. We got to make this decision in our life today, kings and queens, that we will not be ordinary. We will be great. We will be kings. This life is about serving and giving and being true. We live in a world where people believe everybody is out to get you. But I'm telling you now, some people is just out to love you. So for the rest of my career and the rest of my life, I want you to look at William Hollis as your brother, your family, because we are. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter where you came from. The only thing that matters is who loves you now. Growing up in the projects of Pontiac, Michigan, I realized two things. I realized that I won't make it if I believe that this is my reality for the rest of my life. And two, I had to realize that all the knowledge and my gifts were already placed inside of me at birth. All I have to do is fine tune. All I have to do is keep working on this crap every single day and I can be successful. When I sat on the side of that Turkey Hill gas station, I realized that no one would believe in me. No one, no one will say, William Hollis, one day your speeches will be played all around the world. No one. And I realized that pain was necessary. I realized that without my belief, I cannot go to the next level. And I want you guys to know every piece of motivation I give you, I'm talking to myself. The world just happens to hear. Let's become legendary. Let's not focus on who don't see anything in us. Let's focus on everything that does. You are filthy rich. You were born rich. We're going to forget about the generational lack. We're going to forget about the people who left us. And we're going to focus on the people who love us. We're going to focus on the people who believe in us. Because you have greatness inside of you. You have an everlasting potential. And as long as you have a heartbeat, as long as you have air in your lungs, you have an opportunity to change this world, change your life, and live your dream today. You are not broke. You are filthy rich. You were born rich. We will be royal forever.